Hey, Boaz here with a Pedal Powered Talk Show. We're here at Chihuly Garden and Glass in Seattle to chat with Michelle Bufano, the Executive Director. Let's go, Phil! The Pedal Powered Talk Show is a talk show on a bike, and you're watching it now. So you've been working at art institutions for a long time. Do you do any art of your own? I do, actually. When I was working at Pratt Fine Arts Center, it's uh -huh. an art school, and they had all different opportunities. But, of course, I fell in love with glass, but not glass blowing like you see in this room, mm -hmm. glass casting. So that's where you take a big, giant ladle, and you pick up the glass out of the furnace and pour it into a sand mold. So you sort of like carve it out of the sand? Yeah, it's just like making a mold using the sand. It's a special kind of sand. When did you first meet Dale Shahuli? The first time I met him was actually at a movie theater in Seattle. I was going to see a movie at some small, obscure theater, and Dale was in line. And it was like, you know, starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. The Neon Forest. It was one of his earlier installations that he did, where he's kind of pushing the boundaries of glass, dripping glass off of a ladder onto the ground to create these Whoa. incredible shapes. Have you done any glass blowing yourself? I did. I tried glass blowing before I tried casting. <laughs> And what and, was that experience okay. like? <laughs> if you want to be a glass blower, it's a lot about letting go and not having control. Those are two things I don't do very well <laughs> because you have to reheat the glass at a certain temperature where it becomes sort of floppy. Mm -hmm. And it really takes a lot of skill, more than you would ever imagine. I made a glass once that was about this big, so. Do you have any idea how many individual pieces make this up? Over a thousand for sure. Wow. That's the part, the amazing part of what Dale Chihuly does is he's, he's kind of the maestro who puts it all together at the end. This color should be here, this color should be there, this element should be here. Yeah. And really sees it as one composition. For him, it usually all starts here with the drawing. Kind of thinking about what am I going to do for the day? If someone were to hand me that like painting and be like, all right, go ahead and make this out of glass, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> I don't, yeah. Is that part supposed to be squiggly? Um. <laughs> but that's the beauty of the team. I mean, he's worked yeah. with the same team for... Right, they get it now. They get it. Yeah, they get, they're speaking they get the same language. Exactly. How often do you walk through the museum? Every day, I try to. Yeah. I love to watch our guests react for the first time to the glass. I mean, I had this one little girl, my favorite response, she was like, four years old and she walked into the Mili Fiore, which is this beautiful long indoor garden basically. And she just stood at every corner of it and clapped her hands and started yelling out the colors. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And what sort of earthquake plan do you have? That seems like sort of scary <laughs> to think about. Well, we're sitting under a, a hundred foot long suspended sculpture right yeah. now. And I can assure you <laughs> that we are ready for anything, believe me. I feel like you're asking people to touch almost. It's just like so close. I you know. know? That that you're trying to touch it. If I wasn't here, you'd probably be over there touching it. No, we're very, we, we want people to be, have the glass be accessible. Are you ready for a question from the ask -O -Matic? I'm ready. Okay. Would you rather have two extra arms or two extra feet? I think I'd rather have two extra arms. Yeah. Because I am a multitasker mm -hmm. and I'm always trying to do too many things at once. And so if I had more arms, that would go a lot better. For yeah, me. <laughs> twice as productive. Twice as productive. Thanks so much, Michelle. Oh, great to meet you. Do you have to dust all these? We do. We have a team every day, every morning before we open to the public that not only the artwork, but also the platforms that they're on that keep it looking shiny and beautiful for every guest that comes through the doors. Is it like a feather duster, like a sham wow? What are you using? <laughs> sham wow. Well, I can tell you that it does involve some baby diapers. <laughs>